are the veranda rooms on the Disney Cruise Line ships really worth the extra money or is it better to spend that money on bingo and drinks of the day? This video is all about the veranda rooms on the Disney Cruise Line. There are a few different types of veranda rooms, whether you are staying in the deluxe family veranda rooms, which just means that you have a little bit more room in your stateroom because you have a Murphy bed. There's also the deluxe staterooms, but then there's also the staterooms that have the navigator verandas on the classic ships. Everything I'm gonna say about verandas can apply to any category of veranda that you're getting on any of the Disney Cruise Line ships. I'm going to start with my positives, give you my negatives about the veranda, and then also end by telling you my opinion on whether or not I think it's worth it to get the veranda and kind of like how much money is the veranda worth? Like if you're comparing the inside stateroom to the veranda and where I kind of draw the line on the price difference. If you were on YouTube and you're just kind of scrolling through and you found the Disney Cruisers family, hi, I'm Ashley. Thank you for finding us. I hope you enjoy everything that you watch. Stick around and look at more of the videos on my channel. They're all focused on Disney cruising, planning, and my opinion on what I really think about certain things on the Disney Cruise Line. I love Disney cruising. I spend way too much money cruising on Disney, but I love it, it's an addiction. What are you gonna do? So if you have not subscribed yet, consider subscribing. It'll do you a ton of good. And if you are returning and you are already a part of our Disney Cruisers family, give me a like down below so I know that you're here. The first positive I wanna talk about is just the fact that there is more room in the veranda stateroom. And I'm not talking about the extra room you get because you have a veranda you can go out on. I'm talking about the interior part of the room is bigger than the inside staterooms. It is plenty large, whether you have four people or you have five people, so then you have the extra one with the Murphy bed. Plenty of room for everybody. The way that they make the bunk beds appear and then disappear really adds to the fact that you don't feel crowded all the time. Like you have a couch you can sit on and watch TV. You don't feel like you're always sitting on somebody's bed. Storage space everywhere, lots of drawers, two closets, plenty of room underneath your bed to store your suitcases. They have the split bathrooms, which is nice. So one bathroom is the toilet and a sink and the other bathroom is the shower and a sink. If they made the veranda room slightly bigger, I don't even think that it would be necessary. Like that would just be wasted space. These rooms are the perfect size. Something positive that you cannot do on the inside rooms that you can do on the veranda rooms is that you can eat food on your veranda. You can get room service brought to you. You could go up to Cabana's or one of the pool deck quick services and bring your food back, but you can do whatever you want on your veranda. Like it's your own private little part of the ship. Like call up room service and get some Mickey bars and go eat them out on your veranda. That is something that you cannot do anywhere else in the ship, eating food on your private veranda. I just love that part. Also, Disney asks that the alcohol you bring on board, you consume in your room. If you need a refresher on the alcohol policy, there it is but they don't want you traveling around the ship with your alcohol. Well, when you're in an inside stateroom, like that's boring just sitting in the dark on a couch drinking your alcohol, <laughs> like that's boring. So on the veranda, you can drink it out on the veranda and right by the ocean, kind of almost like you are somewhere else on the ship and you are like up at the pool deck or on the deck somewhere because it looks the exact same. So that's fun too. <laughs> else wonderful about the veranda is the amount of natural light and sunlight that you get this really does make a difference it just makes your whole room look different like I know this is gonna sound silly but like the decor in the room it's a lot of deep reds and deep blues and with the sunlight hitting it it's so pretty it like glistens when you're in the inside room and you just have your lamp on it it just looks dull but in the sunlight it's like sparkling and like the room, all the colors just like invite you towards the window, like towards to go outside on your veranda. Like, I don't know, it's just really pretty. And it makes it look so fancy and clean and I don't know, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. So another thing that I love about having the veranda is that it feels like vacation. Like you are by the ocean. Like there's a mirror right there. You can get ready by the ocean. You can sit on your couch and watch a movie and have your door open and just listen to the ocean as you're watching a movie and see the ocean as you're watching a movie. When your kids wake up, their bunk beds are right next to the veranda door. Like how awesome is it for your kids to be woken up by the sound and the smell of the ocean? 
like what like they should now that i'm thinking about it they should move the adult bed over by the veranda and not the kids but lucky kids like i would wake up for that like how oh my goodness that's so perfect that's like stuff you see in movies the veranda is so nice they have the same wood plank flooring that you see on all the pool decks throughout the rest of the ship they give you two chairs if you're on a regular size veranda they give you two chairs there's and you get a little table if you're in a navigator veranda then you get these little like benches or chairs and like you're in a little cubby hole with like all these maps it's so cool and if you have an extended veranda like one of the ones on like the back of the ship some of them are so large that not only do they give you a small table and two like upright chairs but they also give you two lounge chairs like pool chairs on your veranda that's that's unheard of that's spectacular like if this is not vacation i don't know what is the veranda rooms do have big glass doors on that side of the room to go out to the veranda and they lock they lock very well, they lock up high, so there's no worry for your kids to try and escape or accidentally get out. And they're heavy doors, like toddlers are not gonna be able to open them. They're very safe, they're beautiful, they're perfect. All right, now for all my negatives about the veranda room. Well, oh, it's not completely dark like the inside room, so like you can tell when it's morning time because a little crack of light comes through and so that might bother you. Let's see. Oh, it's on the main hallway, like on the sides of the ship. So lots of traffic will be walking by your room, but that's just compared to the inside rooms. There's not like a ton of traffic that always walks by your door unless you're like one of the 20 doors that are in the main drag. Hmm negatives negatives nope that's all I got because veranda rooms are awesome super awesome like they don't suck they're amazing so the next thing I'm going to talk about though is price because it does matter if you cannot afford a veranda that's okay you don't need to afford a veranda you don't have to have a veranda I'm just comparing the two the inside state rooms are still on the ship you'll still have a lot of fun you're hardly even in your room anyways even if, if you're traveling solo or it's just you like in another adult or maybe just you and one other kid, then I would totally do the inside stateroom. Yes, save money, spend your money on bingo and drinks of the day or shirts or snorkeling or dole whips with rum, you know, important things. So let's say that you're looking online and you see the price difference between the veranda and the inside stateroom. I say my cutoff for the difference between the two is about $600. If it is more than $600 to get a veranda, I would not get one. I'm gonna say that for, like if it's a shorter cruise, like a three night or a four night, if it's a three night and it's more than $600, no, no, don't do that. If it's a four night and it's $600, I probably would not do that. If it's a seven night and it's $600, mm, maybe, that's up to you. But if you think about it, if you get like into the thousand-ish range, like that's another person who could go on your cruise or that's sometimes the difference between a five night and a seven night. Like I would want more days than a veranda. If it is only like $200 more, and sometimes it is, if it's only $200 more for a veranda, like do the veranda, don't even think about it. Like that's ridiculous, get the veranda. There are times when they have way more, cause okay, on the ships, there are a lot more veranda rooms than inside rooms anyways. So a lot of times if they're, is an emptier ship and they need to fill rooms, it's most likely the veranda rooms. So therefore the verandas don't cost much more at all than the inside state rooms. So if it's only a couple hundred dollars, 400, 500, then I would say do it. Now, I mean, it's your budget. I can't tell you what to do and what not to do, but that's my cutoff. If it's 600 or more, no. The last time I stayed in an inside standard room, it was like almost $700 to switch and I, for a four night, and I said, no, that's almost a third of another cruise. So there are lines that I draw for that veranda, but if it's affordable and it makes sense for you and your family, get that veranda because seriously, like I could name positives forever and there's like hardly any negatives and the negatives are like stuff you have to reach for. Like it's not even like legitimate things. If you don't hang around my channel, that's okay. I will see you in the next new video that I post. I'm so glad that you watched this one. See you later, cruisers. Bye.